<laughs> let me give you a little bath sorry okay hello everyone new storyline is beginning i was sitting in my bed the other night having my nightly you know what am i doing with my life i purchased this property almost a year ago now i've been waiting for a permit to start renovating my house for almost five months winter was a dud what am i gonna do that was the thought process we have all this wood is one day gonna be my home but for now it's just wood to set the scene I moved back here from LA I had this whole dream that I was gonna Hannah Montana it up live a more simplistic life sounds great in theory <laughs> so I get this wave of ambition I'm like you know what I really think that I can start doing some of this stuff by myself with that being said let's build a chicken coop we are coming to you live at 8 22 in the morning today is the day that the chicken coop concept is being born. We're gonna make it a little smaller than the plans initially state that you should make it just because this is all they have in stock and we're just working with what we got. We have to build concrete holes in the ground so that when the chickens are in there playing around it doesn't fall over. This is your foundation. If we were a chicken coop, where would we be? We could put it in the, kind of the middle of these trees. Here he comes with a demonstration. Nice. Nice. It's a pretty good spot if you ask me. Seriously, I think I've gotten fatter because it's less easy to get out of this hole. Good morning, world. Safety glasses on. Little forward, little back, <laughs> little back, little more, little <laughs> forward, <laughs> right there. Watch your fingers. <sighs> Got him. One, two, three, fire. There is your foundation. And some of us have to build our own. So today, is a new day, it is Monday, happy Monday. Debatably the worst day of the week, but here we are making the best of it. Where we are at in life today, what you have to do when you wanna dig a hole in your yard is you have to call 811 and then they have to come kind of mark in your yard where all the power lines are, all the XL lines, all the internet lines, because if you start digging with a little saw and you hit something, you could blow up and die. I'm not in a phase of my life yet where I'm ready to blow up and die, so they're gonna come this week, make sure that where we wanna put the chicken coop is okay to put the chicken coop. They just took the deck off my front porch, and I was thinking, okay, what a smart idea to use the floor of the deck, the old deck that was just probably gonna go to the trash or whatever. I'm gonna use the floor of the old deck to put in the floor of the chicken coop, but I need to clean it, I need to cut it down to eight feet, I need to sand it, and then I also wanna stain it. Side note, while I've been waiting to get my green tea. Ever since I stopped taking birth control, coffee has kind of been repulsive to me. Every time I drink coffee, I feel like I'm gonna die. My entire life, I've been like a literal caffeine fiend. Like it's a problem, I know it's a problem. Everyone comments it's a problem. You know, it's sometimes it's like you have a problem and then everyone comments you have a problem and you're like, I know I have a problem. Like, and you telling me I have a problem isn't gonna make my problem go away. Well, stopping birth control, all of a sudden I don't crave caffeine like a crazy person and I can just kind of be awake. So instead of my ginormous coffees that I drink every day, I've just been drinking green tea. That was kind of the conclusion. Where I'm going to start for today, I'm gonna carry in each piece, which is so, so long that I kind of have to wobble my way in. It's flying around, it's windy. Then I'm going to bring it into my little workshop. I'm going to unscrew the screws that are currently in it so I don't accidentally stab myself. For this to work, each one has to be 96 and a half inches. So I'm gonna cut the 96 and a half inches and then I'm gonna put it in a pile and wait for it to be bathed. I've cut half of them. Honestly, I feel like my arms are gonna fall off if I bring one more of them in. So I'm going to clean the half that I have. I use this little white lightning cleaner. We're going home for today. Back at Home Depot again. It is a new day, new weekend. The crowd here, Looking cheerful today. <laughs> there is a difference between 9 a.m. folks and 7 a.m. folks. I am a 9 a.m. folk. We rented a fancy hole digger from Home Depot. 
I believe he called it an auger. We're gonna dig the holes into the ground. We're gonna pour the cement into the ground. Then we are going to put the foundation into the cement. And then we are going to be able to start actually building my chicken coop. McDonald's haul. Ah, so tasty. And to that I say, it is a great day to have a great day, people. What do you think? Cold. It is official. This is the official place. Morgan! Where are you, Morgan? Hello! We're waiting, Mr. Music! Oh. Okay. This is where the cement is gonna go into the ground. Follow me, follow me. Post one. Post two. Move. Oh, oh. Going 26 oh, inches deep in the ground, girls. <laughs> Scandalous. Ground is gonna get freaking railed by this thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do. So I'm not a builder. <laughs> then I can hold it while you start it. Ow! Shit! What happened? Oh my gosh, we haven't even started yet. We're already having a medical emergency. Whenever dad cuts his finger, he doesn't use a band-aid, he just whips out some tape and kinda yeah, like he does. wraps it around. Ugh. Are you okay? Yeah. I told you, Dad oh, comes in wait. with the tape. Mm. Pressure on it. Yeah, that's Dad's version of a band-aid. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not very gentle. That's okay. Oh, let's get the job done now. <laughs> Thank God you're not a nurse. <laughs> oh man. Are you okay? Yeah, it does feel better having that on there. Carbon monoxide fumes produce the engine. That's why you don't use it inside. Oh wow. Okay. Fumes make you a little lightheaded. I'm gonna be Woo! honest. <laughs> That guy's gonna go right there. Woo! Yeah, we're gonna put cement in the middle. Sorry, dirt is really soft. It's been a long time since that dirt's ever seen sunshine. Oh my gosh, ew, there's an earthworm, I think. What is that? Oh, it's, it's a, a nail. nail. <laughs> Shia LaBeouf doesn't know what's gonna hit him. Have you ever seen that video of the girl that hit their friend with the shovel in the front yard? Yeah. You're not gonna hit me with the shovel. Are the you? longer and longer I have to wait for a house permit, the more ready I am to just whack someone in the shovel. With the shovel. Perfect. Oh my God. Camera fell. Oh, I feel like Tana Mojo, all the gas is making me dizzy. Concrete number one. Okay. It's a meat in it, Grandma. <laughs> Gosh. This is definitely what it looks like when food's going down your throat. Ooh. Into the tunnel. Again. Yeah, I'm trying to teach everyone about digestion while they're here. Making sure that it's perfect on the edges. And is it? Almost. Oh, it's not that heavy. I'm very Woo. impressed. Good job, Morgan. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you build a floor. give you a little visualization of what is to come. I have made one of my very not professional kind of ratchet and janky Photoshop renderings of what the chicken coop is going to be. Bam. I made this Photoshop rendering last night because I was having a freak out moment thinking, oh my gosh, everyone's gonna think that I'm building this stupid little cage. I'm not building a stupid little cage. I'm building something what is hopefully going to be beautiful, right? I want it to match the barn. I want it to match the aesthetic of the house. One day I'm gonna have little chickies running around and I want them to have a big, beautiful home. In the spirit of being conscious of how much money I am spending and how much money I am saving, I'm so excited because Honey is going to be sponsoring this vlog. How I would explain Honey, if you've ever seen that show, Extreme Couponers, where all the moms always have their coupons on deck and ready to go. It is the 21st century. We don't have to do that anymore because we have Honey. So when you shop online, Honey is automatic searching the web to save you money. You go to check out, you go to your cart, a little happy dancing coin man pops up and he's like, lucky you, you get to save money because you have Honey downloaded and ready to go. I love Honey. I've had Honey in my little Chrome browser for years and years. If you do any shopping at all, online whatsoever do yourself a favor get honey it's so easy to download you literally can download it in two clicks it's free doesn't cost you anything doesn't give you any hassle you can go to my custom little code which is joinhoney.com morgan adams i love that little coin man and when he pops up in my browser and he starts dancing i'm like 
gosh dang it, my friend is back and he is ready to help a sister out. Thank you so much to Honey for sponsoring this vlog, for supporting my chicken coop endeavors, and for all that you've done for me in my lifetime. Anything that makes life easier, as a decently lazy Gen Zer, it just means the world to me. When I first started this project about eight months ago, from eight months ago to today, the prices of what it costs to get the materials to build these things is approximately eight quadrillion times more than what it was originally. I'm playing ping pong in my brain of how can we reuse what we have in a different way. The exterior of the chicken coop is going to be the exact same as the exterior of the barn. A few months ago, I got the front of the barn done. I did a nice white hardy board. I hired this company that promised me the world. I hired this company to do the doors, the windows in the barn, and the siding in the front of the barn. The door that you see behind me that I paid an arm and a leg for is already broken. Can I get in contact with them to come and fix it? No respectfully. The whole story of why I think they're a terrible company full of frauds that steal money from people is irrelevant in this story. It was an absolute nightmare. I have forgiven them in my heart. I have forgiveness in my soul. And quite honestly, I just never want to think about them again. So whatever. So if you order 200 square feet of something, you are not just paying for the 200 square feet of siding. You are paying for the 200 square feet to be installed. They come out, they measure, they say, Hey Morgan, you're going to need exactly this much. Cool, great, whatever. But they get here, they put it up five months later than they initially promised. Eventually they finished the siding to the barn. I'm like, amen, hallelujah, good job. I look to the left and there's just a ton of the white siding material on the ground. I was like, oh, what is that for? And the guy's like, oh, that's your, that's what you ordered. You ordered more than what you needed. And I said, no, I absolutely did not order more than what I needed. They came and measured and I ordered what I needed. And he said, no, you actually ordered double that. And I said, no, I absolutely did not. They ended up charging me an obnoxious amount of money more than what the schemey salesman promised me. I now have a bunch of white siding just sitting out there. So now, kind of a happy and very expensive and very schemey mistake. I have enough white siding to do my chicken coop to match the front of my barn, which is great. We're looking at the positives. All I have to do at this point in my life is find the positives. The positive is that I can match the chicken coop to the barn. Woo! Bok bok chickies. If you want to buy an old house that needs work, let this be a warning to you. Trust no one. Okay, another day of chicken coop chaos. It's Easter, it's Sunday, the sun is shining, the man is arriving. Got my vodka. What's on the to-do list for today? Start putting weed barrier down, and we're gonna put the subfloor on, we'll start building some walls. Okay. We have some potential clients looking to lease out my chicken coop. Looks like a magic carpet, but it's a weed barrier. It is magic carpet. Finally chopped all this wood for the structure. Sometimes I like to write messages on things so that 20 years from now, when some bimbo lives here, that would be me. She can remember it's Cookie's Kingdom and also that I love you. I would say it's pretty sturdy. It feels a little like if you jump too high and you ate too much for dinner, it could fall down. But it probably won't. The foundation was... Stop! That's really cool. Marker. We have a very cool floor that the chickens can do so many things on. Hop, jump lay eggs. Wall ones coming to the drafts. I'm gonna live in the chicken coop. Sturdy, stiff, <laughs> ready for guests. That is what I call a wall, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty cool. Chickens for sale. Okay, there we go. Nice. Little, little crazy. I, like I can live in here. Well. Test little chickens. Little <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Oh, what do you think? What a view. You want to live in here too? Yeah. 50 bucks a month. <laughs> that sounds like a deal. <laughs> I suppose that is the wrap for today. And now we are going home because grandma has to have her Easter celebration. 
I woke up today and I told everyone today is a good luck day. And I, what happened? All these good luck things are happening. Another day of chicken coop wall building. Every time I see one of these, I just hear a little cashier noise. Cha ching One of my major jobs is to protect the community and put the cart in the cart thing. The goal of today is to be able to finish framing up the walls of the chicken coop so you can see the whole structure come to life. I'm here, bitches. Here, mom, I made you a custom piece of wood. Well, it's cold. You can do like a full walk around. You can come, you're runway walking, you're posing, come with me. Come on. And pose. And then you go to eat dinner. Life's a runway, people. Okay, wall number three. Oh gosh. Team lift. This is the window where we'll all be able to see in and out. Hold, please. Lay their eggs with a view. Whoa. I said hold, please. I thought you meant the hammer, not the wall. <laughs> Look, he puts that in his pants. Well, that's what it's for. Well, no, all the little TikTok girls are wearing those pants, and I don't think any of us know that that's meant for, like, The TikTok hammer. girls are wearing dickies? <laughs> yes. If we would have gone to Coachella, I could have worn those pants and put a hammer in them, and people would have been like, oh my god, fashion. Yeah. And Dad's been doing that since the dawn of time. No offense. If Ryan and Shane or Austin and Stacy start having kids and I'm going to be an aunt, I, when I babysit, I'm going to send all the little kids out here and then when I need something from them, I'll come, I'll look through the window and say, what are you little bitches doing? You can't See call them up. bitches. Okay, so what are you little kids doing? See what's up? And then you shut the window and you go back inside. Or we could turn it into a speakeasy. There's so many things that this actually could be until I'm stable enough emotionally and physically to have chickens. What's a it speak can, easy? It's like a secret club. It could be a little strip club. No. It could be a little meditation room. Okay. It could be a little spa. Yeah. Or it could be like a timeout room. No. Like a dungeon. No. Like, <laughs> or like a secret society out in the chicken coop. People think it's a chicken coop, but it's actually no. where the government comes to. Let's see if it actually fits. Oh my gosh, perfection. No, you know what we can make it? <laughs> like someone, we could hire a professional chef that could be in here making breakfast and then we come and collect our food like a drive-thru. It's no, perfect. No, you do a drive-thru selling eggs. There's so many opportunities in this world. It's sad that I am pretty lazy. I'm charging premium price for my eggs. You don't even have any chicken yet. I'm talking like the other kind. <laughs> okay, that's enough filming for a while. Now the woods get delivered. I hope to make the roof. Wall three and a half. It looks absolutely perfect. Last wall. This is how it all comes to be. <laughs> I'm scared. Wow. After a week's worth of work, we have four walls, a floor, and a top of a roof. I still don't know how to say roof. Roof or roof? Finely chopped wood by yours truly. Freshly pounded nails by yours truly. It's cool. It looks like you, from upstairs you could just take it like a basket and move it over. <laughs> it looks like so a little funny. shower caddy that you take yeah, to college. Yeah, so funny. My review of phase one of the chicken coop is if you know what you're doing, it was decently easy. It's just a lot of chopping and a lot of loud ka -chings. That's a wrap. Oh, let's go get warm. I'm hungry. I'm ready for lunch. Mm, oh, warmth. Okay, you guys, it is 9.30 at night. I'm about to go to bed. I just wanted to say thank you for coming on this journey with me thus far. Is this what I thought my life would be when I was 24 years old? Absolutely not in a single million years of a chance. No, this is not what I expected my life to be. But nonetheless, I'm having a good time. So... Thank you for coming along with me this week. I love you so much. I will see you so soon. I will give you a kiss goodnight. 
and I'll see you soon. Goodbye!